Are you sure your balance or scale is performing as it should? Could you document its performance if you had to? In this video, we will talk about the routine testing of your balance or scale. You'll learn what routine testing is, why it's necessary, and how to do it right. First, let's look at what routine testing actually is. Imagine your balance or scale is a car. As a responsible car owner, you have regularly scheduled service appointments with a mechanic to keep your car running well. In between these service appointments, however, you will check certain maintenance issues yourself, such as taking a look at the tires or the oil level. The same kind of attention is necessary for your weighing device. Between scheduled maintenance visits and calibration by a certified service technician, balance users should perform routine testing to make sure results remain accurate. Why is it necessary? Over time, the performance of your weighing device can change due to environmental influences, wear and tear, and other damage that is not visible. Routine testing checks to ensure that the device continues to perform accurately enough based on your needs until your next calibration. What is the right way to test a weighing device? There are four pillars that influence the routine testing of any weighing device. They are number one, test frequency. Number two, test methods. Number three, test weights. And number four, test tolerances. User training is also a key factor and forms the basis for the success of your routine testing program. First, let's take a closer look at what test frequency entails. How often do you need to perform your tests? The frequency will increase depending on the risks that are part of your weighing process and how those risks could affect results. If the risk to accuracy, your process, or your product quality is high, you will need to perform testing more frequently. The second pillar involves your test methods. To verify the performance of your weighing device, there are three different tests that need to be run. Sensitivity tests are quick and simple. Sensitivity is measured by comparing the indicated value to the reference weight value. This is performed by placing a calibrated test weight on your balance or scale. The repeatability test checks the ability of a balance or scale to supply the same result with repeated weightings using the same load under the same conditions. It is usually measured by 6 to 10 consecutive measurements. A standard deviation is then calculated. Repeatability tests are usually done less frequently than sensitivity tests. However, they are important, especially when measuring small samples or ingredients. The eccentricity test checks the corners of your balance or scale. Is there a difference in the indicated weight depending on where you place the load on the weighing pan? For each of these three tests, we offer SOPs, Standard Operating Procedures, that you can download for free. They guide you through each of these test methods in detail. You learn how to perform these tests and assess the results. Now let's look at the third pillar, choosing and using correct test weights based on your device, your process, and standard operating procedures. Good weighing practice, Mettler Toledo's global weighing standard, specifies that you only need two test weights for the routine testing of a balance or scale. This reduced requirement can simplify and optimize your testing efforts while saving you a considerable amount of time and money. A smaller weight is needed for repeatability tests, typically about 5% of your device's capacity, and a larger weight is needed for sensitivity and eccentricity tests. Mettler Toledo offers a wide range of suitable test weights in all required weight classes for your routine testing of various balances and scales. And finally, let's review test tolerances the fourth pillar of an effective balance testing program. Routine testing tells you whether or not your balance or scale is performing accurately enough. To have a clear pass or fail result, you need to define testing tolerances. Request a Mettler Toledo GWP verification service to learn about the specific risk-based testing tolerances for warning and control limits that are applicable for your processes. GWP offers three levels of performance verification based on the concept of tolerance. The first level, in green, means the device performs within your predefined tolerances. The second level is a warning limit. 
This indication in yellow means that the device is not out of tolerance yet, but the safety margin has decreased. The balance or scale can still be used, but Mettler Toledo should be contacted. The control limit in red specifies when the device is out of tolerance and no longer fit for purpose. In this case, the balance or scale must be taken out of operation. Contact Mettler Toledo for a calibration and to assess the next steps. Keep in mind that the results of your routine testing depend on proper user training. Mettler Toledo can also help you with your training efforts to ensure long-term compliance and optimal weighing performance. Most importantly, don't forget to document the training progress of your employees for audit purposes. Congratulations! You are now familiar with the four pillars of a robust and effective routine testing program. If you need help determining your necessary test frequency, which tests you should perform, and which weights you should use, Good Weighing Practice offers the GWP Verification Service. This easy-to-apply service answers these questions for your specific case based on your requirements and your assessed risk. On selected Mettler Toledo weighing devices, a routine testing program is pre-installed. For more information on whether these devices are right for your process, contact us. Thank you for watching. We hope we can support you as you work to achieve accurate weighing results.